Hello to another video with Linux Mint 19.3 and today we will back up and restore the operational system using TimeShift. It will have three sections for subdemics if you are running uh, out of uh, hard drive space. The second one is to make a complete backup and the third one is to restore the operational system. If you are interested in one specific part you can just uh, go and check it uh, how it works. So first one I will create uh, um, a snapshot, the first backup. I will not have enough hard drive space, so I'll run out of hard drive space. So, running uh, the program time shift, selecting car sync, selecting the drive. In this case, I have only one hard drive and it's not enough. Uh, if you want, you can create, or create automated backups, selecting the schedule. By default, Linux Mint will not uh, make a backup of your personal files and folders, so you have to select it. I have only 14.7 gigabytes, and usually the hard it's need around 20 almost gigabytes to make a full backup. So after I complete, it's show me that I don't have enough space. So it didn't really complete the snapshot and my hard drive is with extremely low space. So what we have to do is navigate to the file system and there have a folder which is called um, uh, time shift and inside our snapshots. We have to open the snapshot uh, subfolder like a root and delete whatever the folder is inside. And this way you're deleting the old snapshots and in our case it's, uh, it's not even uh, completed but it takes uh, all of my hard drive space. So after deleted I have my space back and I can actually operate without uh, be afraid of crashing the operational system. Here it is. I just want to show you that my space is back and uh, I will proceed with the next step. I adding a secondary hard drive where I will make the backup. Usually the hard drive has to be with a special format for Linux Mint native X4 to make a backups. So I will format it uh, in this type and if you have already you can just uh, proceed. So this is the standard procedure of uh, formatting and adding a new hard drive. Okay, now I have enough uh, space and let's start again. To make a backup, you run in time shift. This hard drive doesn't have enough space, so we have to switch it to the one which has enough space. So I run in wizard, I selecting rsync and here I'm selecting the drive which has enough you know, hard drive space. If you need automated backups, you're selecting the schedule. And now to make a personal data backup, you have to select these options as well. Creating backup, uh, sorry, a pressing button uh, create, and I just uh, post very fast. So right now the Snapshot is completed and as you see from 30 gigabytes only half is more than half is taken by the snapshot. So let's test it if actually Linux really can restore everything. I will change the theme, I will uninstall programs and delete files. Okay, so now my 
my Linux looks like Windows. I will delete one file. And I'll only install one program, for example, Thunderbird Mail. Here it is, the problem is no longer here. And let's try to restore our system. Running time shift, selecting the snapshot and clicking restore. Just click next, next, next. The system, uh, sorry, the computer will reboot. It will take a while, I will just pause for a while and come back. Here it is, we are in Linux Mint again. As you can see, it's uh, back to the native Linux Mint theme. Let's check the file and the program. Thunderbird Mail is here, so has been restored completely and my file which I deleted with VMware is here as well. So, all personal data and the system has been restored completely. That's everything what is for today. Thank you to be with me.